Welcome to Mitten Kitchen. I'm Amy and today we are organizing my furnace room. This is where I store most of my canned goods. You can see here and I need to organize them. I have more canned goods than I have shelves for. So we're going to go through some of my other shelves and donate some things and just rearrange what we have here in the furnace room and make it much more working friendly for us to build out a pantry. So taking you on a tour here, you can see this is where a lot of my canned goods are. We also have some like wine boxes for some reason, my canning supplies, some flowers up there. So this can all be better. I actually want to end up moving this over to the other side where a desk is right now. We're going to get the desk out of here and eventually maybe have a freezer space in this section. So this area is just like an extra table that we have. We have our games right there. We have the vacuum over here. It's where you enter. So you come right in, you see this. This is the stairs and then our canning area is over here. So this is where we have like a desk. Um, during COVID, this is where my husband would work if he needed to work from home. Right now, more canning supplies. So you can see the need here to really organize the canning space. So this is like all Christmas stuff and we actually have you'll see up here like a crawl space and that's where it really should be so we're going to try to move that up there you can see the crawl space right there and then back this way is like our treadmill we have a bike a workout space on the floor i want to be able to really utilize this and right now it's chaos there's like stuff on the floor we need to vacuum it as well Back here also have a shelving unit that I want to organize. It has some like wedding stuff. We've been married for a long time. Also have some kid stuff. Unfortunately, we've been trying to have a second kid for quite some time, um, over three and a half years. So, you know, it's been a tough journey here, but it might be time to just kind of go through that and recognize it might not be on our cards, which is really hard. I know that's why I've kept it there. So secondary infertility really sucks, but I at least want to be able to organize that a little bit better or donate some things. And that is gonna be the vision for the extra canned good area. The desk, the baby, wedding stuff, maternity stuff. So lots to clean out. And then coming back to this shelf, more like baby clothes, more like baby clothes up here and we also have some like hardware sort of like tools batteries that sort of stuff so lots of organization that can take place in here and i'm going to take you along for the journey so thanks for joining with me and i'm excited it's probably going to take two days so saturday night tonight i don't really plan on doing a lot but i at least wanted to get the tour started and tomorrow we can really dive in and start to get this organized so I think personally, some of the hardest things about decluttering, organizing, getting rid of things that, you know, maybe losing hope a little bit, but it's also just a process, almost like a cleansing. It's a healing process for me. And so I'm really looking forward to that, to having a space down here, to be able to work out, to be able to have my canned good area. And so that's exciting, a little bit more organized. To me, physical clutter is mental clutter. And I want this space to be utilized. I just organized our basement area to be really nicely organized. I should have should have had you along for the journey, but it was a quick one. Set a timer. And so that's what I'm gonna do, you know, during this time, I'm gonna set some timers on my Apple Watch and really just focus on like one section at a time. I've shared with you before, I like to start in one area and then kind of like make my way around. So you're only looking at like what's right in front of you versus the whole space, which can be really overwhelming. So that's what we're going to do is really focus in certain areas, commit to that. Um, and so for me, the first area is going to be this shelf right here. It's really going through and determining, do we put things up in the crawl space? Do I donate them? Do I say, you know what, let's keep maybe half of them. Going through those decision making can be really helpful but this is gonna be that first area. I have a high chair, right? It's like, do I wanna keep it? I don't know, right? Like that's an emotional decision. And so for me, I know I've had to be in the right headspace to even tackle 
some of these questions. It's taken a long time to get here. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go through kind of line by line and see what we want to do to make some differences here. The first one that we can quickly do is get our filing cabinet out of here and out into the new area in the basement. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get this out here. So we're going to let Santa. Santa can go <laughs> for a moment. all can guys <laughs> it's like good stuff too it's like my tomato juice lots of good stuff so let's just get this on the floor now we have a desk that we can quickly move out tomorrow when we're ready so i think that's all for tonight i'll see you tomorrow so this is a tough call right here, but this shelf is almost cleared out. The top I have to leave. I couldn't get rid of it yet, but I'll have three shelves for canning supplies. This is mainly organized now. Um, I did have to put some containers back there because I'm just not in the mood to make those tough decisions yet. So they're gonna be back there. I did get rid of a couple things, but now I'm thinking that the current canning shelf will go right there. So the process now will be to empty this all off and then move the shelf over into the corner. Still have this area. So I figured I'll tackle this right now and then do this later. <laughs> So this area is mainly cleaned up. We still got this. That's pretty much done. I think maybe when it's spring, I'll have a better mindset of like actually getting rid of that stuff. Like I only got rid of like three bins, but I know there's more that can be taken in. But at least for now, this is good. So I figured instead of moving things multiple times, I will just get this one started to get set up. So we're gonna have some products up here and down here, and then I will move that shelf over here. So we're gonna move it once. This is my roasted garlic pasta sauce. It turned out phenomenal. So I like this because I can really see what I have now. Like look at how nicely organized that is. So I'll know what I need to make. More of like a first come first serve process. Okay, I think I'm ready to move the next shelf. Now it's gonna kind of block some of this, but I think it'll be okay. Let's see how it goes. I'm not sure, <laughs> but it's gonna have to do for now. So this pipe sticks out a little bit. <clears throat> so I'm wondering if I can like half the shelf. I'll figure that out. But this is what I got. I gotta make do with what I have, right? <laughs> you can still easily access these items, right? Cause there's not gonna be like a shelf here. This one might be a little bit more challenging, but I can just come down here and look at it. Kind of wish I had two of the same, but at least for now, this works. Okay, is it perfect? Absolutely not. <laughs> but is it functional? Absolutely. <laughs> I think eventually I need to get a new shelving unit than this one. This is just not working out. I'll need a couple more racks, right? But for now, you know, harvest season's over and I don't have a lot of canning goods. So I have a couple months before I can get one like that needs to be fixed up here. <laughs> but it's functional for empty jars. So yeah. So over here we have our tomato sauce, tomato juice, different types of tomato juice. This is like a normal one. 
that's like a spicy one. Then we have our salsa over there. Barbecue sauce that I don't fully love, so need to use that up. Some masaman curry, <clears throat> roasted garlic pasta sauce, pickles that are from the garden as well. Then I have some beans, coconut milk, almond milk down there. I have a seafood stock. This will be full of turkey stock. My mom's bringing that over today. This is beef broth. Then over here, I have some peach barbecue sauce, peach salsa. This is all strawberry jam. And unfortunately, because I didn't have enough space, I was stacking them on each other. And I have about three that went bad, which really made me sad. Um, so this is why I needed to do this. I needed to get things on the shelf properly stored. This is strawberry lemonade concentrate and then this really yum yummy onion jam. Then I'll have my flour down there. This, I did have to take the board out, which is fine. Um, I do have room down there for the actual canners, which will be helpful. I have this little shelf over here for any storage if needed. So I can always move some of that down into this one for now. My rings are there. I have some cookbooks, so I have my canning cookbooks there as well. We have a whole pile of wine crates. I need to figure out a project to do that. So whole project of wine crates right there. So it's something, we're definitely making progress. I have a couple more things to do, but at least this is pretty much ready to go. Okay, again, this needs to be taken care of. I have an action for it, a plan for it. But look at this space in here. I mean, this is nice. <laughs> again, it's not perfect, but it is so much better. Look at that. We can actually work out now. This needs to be still taken care of, but this is what I'm proud of. Look at that. Again, up there <laughs> needs to be a little bit more cleaned up. This is fabulous. I mean, look at this. Look at all the canned goods. I'm so proud of this. I mean, this is pretty cool. So there you have it. We cleaned up the furnace room, the canning storage area, the workout room, the utility room, whatever you call this. It's good. It's good for now. It's good for this. I will definitely need a different shelf. Actually, my mom told me that they sell at the container store where I got this one a while ago more shelves. So I could add a couple more shelves that are not as spaced out, right? Like this clearly could have another one built in. So we'll see, but I'm excited. It's something to be proud of. And I really like having something organized going into the new year. So thanks for joining me in the Mitten Kitchen. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love for you to give me a like, click that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time here in the Mitten Kitchen. Bye, everyone.